everybody. I hope you're doing well. Okay, today I decided to go to Walmart and finally get the Swiffer Wet Jet. I'm putting in the two pieces of the handles. It didn't really make a very loud clicking sound. That kind of threw me off for a few minutes. Okay, so then you pulled out the battery compartment. This newer model only requires two batteries. Got to make sure you watch the videos that's not too old. Then you take out one of the cleaning pads. All right, so then you put the batteries in. Slide the thing back down. I put the pad on the wrong way the first time. Those two purple strips need to be flipped the other way. So then I flipped it over the other way and started pressing it down just with one hand, trying to make it straight. Purple strips down. It's got some little hooks that they hook onto. And then you take the solution and you put it in. Again, the video was showing an older model where the solution was turned the other way, and when it didn't work, I had to go back and flip it the other way. It still wasn't working, and I tried to push it place. down harder, and I thought it clicked. There's no click. It still wasn't working, so then I pushed it down even harder, and then it clicked. Also, the handle was moving, so I had to push that down. Okay, this one only needs two batteries, which it says on the box, not the video. And uh, this had to be turned around the other way. And then I had to push down even harder. What I thought was a click was just not far enough. I had to push down even farther for it to click some more. So now, I can actually get the solution coming out. And I can... Finally, finally. Clean these floors like I never have before. <laughs> I had those Swiffer pads like I think I've mentioned already. The only thing that I don't like is this cannot be taken off and thrown in the wash. I thought this was the kind that had the mopping pads where you just can reuse the mop pad, you know, take it off and throw it in the wash. I don't know if I told you guys, but I've been watching The Mandalorian, and I came across some information that said John Wayne's grandson... It's actually under the suit. I think I googled it. Who is the stuntman under the suit? You know, is Pablo, whatever his name is, the one who's under the suit all the time? And the answer was no. Oh, I think I put too much solution. You know what? It's kind of sticky. I think those squirts are enough to last the whole kitchen. I bet this pad's going to be really dirty because I haven't done this like this in many months. The bad thing about that job I had where I was going from 24 or 25 to 26 and 28 and 32, 34 hours, too much too much time at work, a lot of, you know, energy expended on that. I don't even know what the hours were. I think it started like 24 hours. And then she called me in on my day off because she said, I know you need hours and you have bills to pay. So then I had to think, okay, why don't you schedule me? So... The next week I went in and I said, first of all, you have to stop texting me at home. And second of all, why can't you 
schedule me 28 or 30 hours. I only need 29 hours. I'll be fine. Because she had said, oh, you know, I have a budget. I have other people I need to give hours to. You know, if I give them all to you, how's that supposed to make me feel? And she kept saying that. <laughs> I told her she had to stop complaining about the hours and the budget. Because, you know, it wasn't making me feel very good. She said something. I said, I don't care. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's stressing me out. She didn't like that. And then when I told her the other day that my chest was getting really tight, could I have some hours that weren't so crazy every single day, so drastically different? She said, that's not my problem. Which doesn't even make sense. If you're going to throw something back at someone, which is basically retaliation, and say, that's not my problem. It's not the same thing as me asking you to stop texting me at home and complaining about your budget. That's not my problem. I said, if you can't give me hours, just say so. It's fine. I'll, you know, I'll try to deal with it the best I can. And do my job the best I can with the hours you can give me. So then she started giving me more hours because I said, I was hired for full time, although I don't know that I can do 40 hours, really. So then she complained that I was asking for full time hours and that I needed. So then she was giving me 28, 30, 32, 34. Oh. And I mean, I couldn't do it because it was manual labor, it was extremely demanding. And then the stalker who didn't came in meant that it would be my responsibility to open not only my boxes, but when I got done, I was supposed to open his as well because I was the manager. That was my last day. I had an order of 45 balloons that had to be blown up. So I blew up 40 of them that took me 30 minutes. Then I asked the cashier to please finish the rest that the customer would be back in about an hour, and I had to go on my break, my meal break. So, okay, let me squirt just a little bit. Okay, does Sabrina know what a little bit is? Let's see. Is there anything there? Okay, I guess so. Um... Wow, every day I need to sweep. I'm sure the area where my familiars eat needs mopping, not just sweeping. And yeah, so I clocked out for my lunch. My friend had texted me, so I went to the bathroom like a high school kid. <laughs> And texted her back, yes, I would love to go to lunch with you. I'm quitting this godforsaken job. <laughs> I'll be leaving at 1130. She said, fine, I'll meet you at 12. It works for me. So, <laughs> Guys, I've never walked out on a job before in my life. But, you know, if you save your money and this type of a thing happens to you, just like I said the other day, you can say, take, <laughs> take this job and shove it, right? I didn't say anything. I just clocked out and left. Now, she had gotten mad at me, you know. She said, oh, you must have lived a very sheltered, privileged life. <sighs> I thought, <coughs> lady, that's the last time you're going to insult me. I'm really tired of it. Oh, you're looking so tired and haggard today, Sabrina. Why is that? Maybe because you give me a wild and crazy schedule. Oh. So, yeah, these low-paying, excuse me, these low, um, low-cost stores that really never have anybody in there except one cashier, there's a reason for that. <laughs> Everything is $1.25. All right, let's look at the pad. Are we ready? 
Whoa.